It's 82 degrees with some late afternoon sunshine in Corpus Christi. Winds not as strong as yesterday, not even close, near 9 miles per hour at the airport right now. It has been cloudier near the coast. Temperatures in the low 80s in town. Look out west, 90s for the brush country, a lot more sunshine, but you see how the clouds overall uh, have started to dwindle, dwindle across the area. Still some cumulus clouds overhead, but uh, the clouds going to be on the decrease for the short term and then re enter the atmosphere into this evening. Winds again out of the southeast near the coast about 10 miles per hour. Little wind flip inland, a cold front stalling north of the area, the culprit for that. But overall again, those winds are going to relax tonight around 5 miles per hour. And because of that, uh, we're going to see some fog move in from the coast. You can see some hints of it already in Port Aransas and Rockport. That fog, it's sea fog and it's going to move in, could reduce visibility down to a quarter of a mile or less for some locations tomorrow morning. This happens when you have warm, humid air tracking over somewhat cooler sea surface temperatures. That air condenses, and when the winds are light enough out of the south and east, that fog moves in, and that can be very dense to the point where we need to be talking about slowing down, using caution on the roads in the morning. Uh, when you get down to about a quarter of a mile worth of visibility, your reaction time going 60 miles per hour is down to about 15 seconds. So watch out for that heading into tomorrow morning. Cold front stalling right now across San Antonio uh, and in south central Texas. It's not really going to get a lot farther south than where it currently is. And you see the system dropping that front big one in the central plains. We've got another one coming into the Pacific Northwest. That one will drop a front here, but it's not going to be a strong one. Don't be too excited about it. If you're looking for cooler weather, this one does give us a north wind shift on Saturday, uh, but temperatures are not going to take much of a hit. We'll get a little drop in humidity, but again, overall, it's not going to be a big dramatic cool down with that front easing through the area. 87 Saturday. 82 Sunday. No big whoop right on the temperature department. We're still going to be pretty warm and at or above seasonal average over the next seven days. So overnight, watch out for that fog. You'll see it expand in from the Gulf of Mexico. Temperatures into the upper 60s, low 70s first thing tomorrow morning. By 10 or 11 o'clock, the fog disperses. We'll replace that with sunshine and temperatures under that sun going to respond into the mid 90s inland mid to upper 80s near the coast tomorrow. Very warm and spring like for us here for Thursday. So tonight the winds relax, the fog develops upper 60s by first thing tomorrow morning. We'll lose the fog, get sunnier in the afternoon, mid to upper 80s. It'll be breezy and humid, 10 to 20 mile per hour southeasterly winds. Watch out on the water for the fog in the morning as well. It will be dense in spots until about 10 or 11 o'clock. Going to be windy here on Friday, 88 degrees with a southeast wind 20 to 30 miles per hour. There's the weak front Saturday gives us a north wind flip, drops temperatures about five degrees into Sunday with lower humidity and fingers crossed into next Tuesday. Maybe I've got an optimistic chance for another weak front and some raindrops in the area. We'll keep our eyes on that. Leslie, Rudy. All right. Thank you, Alan.